Let's move on to Smooth Edit now, which is the built-in audio editor, part of the Myriad Playout version 4 system. And uh, to get into the editor, highlight an item that you want. We're going to work on this track here and then select Edit. And that will bring up the preview um, of the audio file and allow us to set the intro and the outro and also the hook of the song as well. And we can also sort out the title and artist information plus a few other bits and pieces actually. Um, so the title and artist has been either pulled across from a tagged MP3 file or you've uh, imported a file with the hyphens in and you've been able to sort it out or you've just typed it in yourself. If, for example, though, the uh, title and artist are the wrong way around, there's a couple of new buttons in version 4 that will be able to change that order for you. They'll also be able to change the order if the description and the artists are the wrong way around as well. So they are these two buttons here. Just click them once with the left mouse button and uh, that will change the order. You've got the ability to set uh, custom colors so you click on that one to set a custom color so we'll do that one pink and then the font can be white and if you don't like that you can just click on default and that changes you back to that in the content type here you can select music and uh, if it was one of your a b c list here um, then you can click on a list the end type if we click on the play button here that will play us the last few seconds of the track so we can actually we didn't actually hear that because it was too quiet so if we drag that back there you can have a listen so it's a it's a slow fade on that one there so to set the um, we've set the end type now to set the intro and the extra and the hook um, then we can head down here and uh, we've got the preview of the audio waveform here and then you've got intro start and intro end intro start you'd normally leave this at zero 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 um, unless it was a song that started with the vocals then maybe had a uh, instrumental and then they started singing properly afterwards uh, an example a good example of that is the brand new heavies midnight at the oasis but uh, i know this one doesn't it just has a normal intro so to set that we're going to click on the uh, play button just above intro end. Start playing the song for us. And then we'll wait for her to start singing. Lots of uh, oohs and ahs on the start of this one. So we're just clicking where it says intro end and you can see the seconds counting up. And we can, uh, we've clicked on that now, 18 seconds. We can make sure that we've got that right by clicking the play button here. We can just keep on clicking that. We may be a bit too tight on it, so we've got these new nudge buttons here, either side. We can just click that and it just takes it back a few frames. So that's a bit better now. You can click on that just to test that. So that's that's okay, that's our intro end set. So we could scroll along into the middle of the song to find the hook. So there we go. So we're going to use that as the bit. And there's our intro start and in, uh, there's our hook start and our hook end. So we can listen to that again. So that's okay. And we can actually just listen to only the hook by clicking on hook. We might drag the end out a little bit more just by clicking on the nudge. Have a listen. And uh, what we'll do is we can zoom in to get a better look on that. We've got uh, just the general zoom in controls. We've got zoom to the left of the selection, zoom to the end of the selection, and just zoom to show the entire selection. We're just going to zoom in to the right of the selection here because the start of it's fine maybe you just drag it out a little bit more let's have a listen here so let's say that's going to be the hook end there we go and uh, if we're happy with the hook then that's fine 
and so we've got zoom out to show the full waveform time to set the extra so click towards the end of the file we can hit the space bar on our keyboard and remember we're clicking this whole button here and then you hit the extra point where you would like it to fire off the next item if it was in automation or you would fire off the next item if you were playing the song yourself you can have a listen to just the intro have a listen to the hook like we've been doing also new is auto extra and uh, what that will do if you click on that it uh, finds where the file reaches below a certain volume and sticks the extra point there so it's a quick way of just getting your database up and running and you can do final tweaks with that later on just by using the, these nudge keys or just by highlighting a new place and then clicking on the big extra button so uh, that will sort that bit out and that is all of the controls you've got normal transport controls down here play fast forward rewind go to the beginning that kind of thing that will jump around also whilst you're playing things you can use the uh, the arrow keys which are above the pl the full stop and the comma so those sort of brackets to scroll up and down you can hold down the shift key and that jumps in five seconds Without the shift key, it just jumps in one second increments. We can see the full length. We can see where the current playhead is at the moment. And uh, they are the main things here on the general tab. When we go into other, we can leave studio notes. We can display information on the website. We can add more JPEG images of maybe album covers. We can add in other notes here, copyright details. We can copy those across from the uh, audio wall title and artist category that we've already got there timings if you have any hardware events that you want to set against the intro end or the intro start maybe it's a news jingle that you need to turn on your news feed uh, hardware and commands are both dealt with in the manual so check out manual support for that you can loop a selection of audio so it might be useful for a music bed you can loop it from a start and an end point and you can also mark the cart for deletion after a certain date that requires some extra software more details about that in the manuals and on the p squared website as well so if we're happy with that that would be how we would normally set things up but if we want to do some further editing we can click here open for full audio editing if we click on that that opens up our stereo waveform editor and it allows you uh, a little bit more freedom a little bit more chance to uh, actually m tweak with the audio itself rather than just setting tags and uh, flags one other benefit of opening into the normal um, full audio editing mode is if we just scroll in here you know we'd set this hook uh, point we can actually grab this by the little silver triangle and we can extend the end of the hook out using the little disclosure triangle right at the top there you can see it's changing and if you look down at the hook end time uh, then that will also update once you've that's it there we go you can see that moving up and down the hook end time as we tweak and play around with that let's uh, zoom back out again um, so things that we can do here on smooth edit if we just uh, zoom in towards the end we could put a uh, different fade out on this piece of audio so left click and highlight to highlight the area and then you've got various options up here let's just go through them here got uh, the play commands so you can just play what you've selected you have also options to play through play a loop undo and redo cut copy and paste you can if we just stop the file you'll get these back so you've got cut to cut selection you've also got copy and drop down here you can copy to the smooth edit clip area and that enables you to uh, make up some other pieces of audio you can export the selection to a WAV file export it to another cart we'll do all of these in a minute paste it from the smooth edit clip area delete this highlighted area erase the selection edit both channels you can insert silence you can remove silences reverse the selection time stretch the audio pitch shift you've also got the ability to compress uh, the waveform and you can normalize it as well under this uh, compress you have compress, expand and gate the waveform, put a telephone filter on, echo, delay, chorus and flanger. Just have a little play around with those. 
in this normalized normalize change the volume of the selection fade in the selection and fade out so if we could do a fade out you can see now that's done a uh, fade on that audio and we can have a listen back to it Let's see whether we're happy with it so that's just doing a uh, very slow fade if we select that back there we've also got vibrato in there but just have a little play and uh, figure out what works for you some uh, copying features that are really quite useful you could uh, highlight a bit of an area here so we've highlighted tells you the selection is 34 seconds and we could export this selection to another cart so that just brings up a little cart browser just find an empty cart and we'll export it to cart number 36 could highlight a little bit here copy it copy to smooth edit clip area and then if we go back to the audio wall there's our clip that we made if we click on edit you'll now see that we've got both cart 24 and 36 in here so if we go to the end of this WAV file actually no we'll we'll paste it in there go to full edit we'll go to here and then we've got our paste from the smooth edit clip area so we do that and then that's so you can see we've copied and pasted out and we've stuck that in the middle of that file so uh, very useful there you can do a mix paste as well to uh, sort out the areas that's the original that's the pasted audio and uh, how you want the levels to sound on there insert another entire cart so say we wanted it here we can actually do insert another entire cart we can say yep stick that in there and then hot fm you can see we've actually stuck that in and we could to get rid of that uh, gap here we could highlight the rest of that cut and then we just do paste over the top one and there we go that's uh, pasted that one in uh, we can uh, zoom back out Let's zoom back out on the uh, waveform and uh, so they're, they're the main controls copy paste copy a selection uh, we can ex export that just out as a WAV file just pop that onto our desktop if we wanted to uh, as a uh, as a straight WAV or like I said export the selection to another cart so uh, very useful uh, add in the silences delete in that kind of thing just a, a very quick um, quite full featured editor inbuilt into um, into myriad you can configure an external editor and uh, you can then set it to open into an external editor for a, for example Adobe Audition Uh, on the normalized front there's been some work has been done there um, by default it's uh, peak normalization and you can set a peak normalization limit but we also have available in audio setup and audio wall setup um, under here you can normalize audio using RMS instead of peak normalization and that will change down the percentage p squares recommends 63 percent for peak normalization and 37 for rms rms just take, basically takes a uh, takes an average it doesn't rely on just the peaks but uh, have a little play and uh, see which one you prefer the most uh, while we're in here it's probably worth taking a little look at here you can automatically trim silence at the start of the audio that you rip in from cd you've also got that option um, in here to normalize audio imported by the import wizard also normalize all audio imported via smooth edit wave and also down here that's where it you can change the threshold if you're finding that the auto extra feature is maybe a little bit too hard and fast you could uh, tail that off and you can tick here to auto always detect extras when importing so that would be a quick way of uh, ripping in some cds and uh, getting your library up up and running and into the automation as soon as possible that's the categories that we see here that uh, we see that we can choose categories on the top here and uh, that's various searches that we can do and also various searches for the copyright so that's in the general audio wall settings and you can see our default audio formats here here and here and also exporting stuff and uh, and the size of our audio wall as well so uh, that is Smooth Edit.